and the odds are stacked in his favour. You're joining us here at Alton Park's start finish line. It's the Thundersport GB Championship and you're joining us for round five, 2016. Yeah, welcome to Alton Park in Cheshire, round six of the championship for 2016. Lloyd Shelley leads the championship by one point ahead of this man, Ashley Milburn. This is number 50, Matt Whelan, on his beautifully turned out MV Augusta. And uh, also number 42, William Shaw. There's Liam Helliwell, number 59, but a packed out grid here as ever. There are 39 bikes on the grid here, ready to start this race. And these aren't even the only 600s here at Alton Park. Away from the line we go. Lloyd Shelley there, that was trying to find a way through. Lloyd Shelley, the championship leader, is number 19, just on the outside there. But it's Ashley Milburn that will get the whole shot. Oh my word, there's some interesting lines going on there. And that's what happens when he put 39 riders into oh, the old all bend into turn one. Milburn leads from Shelley, who's got himself up there now. There's Liam Halliwell trying to get his championship charge back on track. Number 33 on the Kawasaki there is Chris Jones on board with Adam Gittings on the Selco Builder Suzuki 600. You uh, will find it a struggle to miss him. He's on that bright yellow and blue Selco colored machine, number 93. They break down into Cher Loyal's screaming bike, this one at Gittings. And we heard it when we were on board with him a few rounds back as well. There he is, just at the back of that picture. It's a class four riders then, the pre-national 600s riders. He yet to attain a national license and boy oh boy has it proven to be quite a popular class sid is in the box with me thundersport sid co-director of the championship uh, fair to say this has been a bit of a success story sid <laughs> could say yeah um in fact we've had to put the overflows to these on the back end of the uh, golden era super sport group because it's just you know you don't want to turn so many people away um, but yeah fantastic uh, Grid indeed. We love these boys. Now, of course, you've got you've got rookies that are coming through, that are making their way up from various other championships of Thundersport. You've got complete novices all together with orange bibs on. Here's Adam Gittings just going underneath one of those novices into Lodge Corner now. So, you know, in terms of ages, you have actually got a mix here of, of riders that are really new to the sport and young, and others that are new to the sport but are maybe in their 30s and 40s. Well, absolutely, yeah. I mean, it makes no difference. Age makes no difference, as I'm always telling you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, and of course, after pre-national, we've got another way forward in the Sportsman Elite 600. So, you no know, 600 racing at Thundersport GB has never been healthier. I mean, it really is the place to race if you've got a 600. And, you know, it's quick. Uh, you get drawn along, as you can see by the lap times here in the pre-national and freshman 600. They're, they're very, very fast. And it's not long before they're chasing the Sportsman Elite Grids. Now, these two boys out front have been the cream of the crop so far this year. As I said, split by one point coming into this round. Well, double points on offer. Lloyd Shelley, number 19, leads this race, and he needs a championship overall. Ashley Milburn there in second. They are joined by number 50, Matt Whelan from Barnsley. Uh, Matt Whelan at the moment down in eighth in the championship. So this is looking quite good so far here for the Barnsley rider. There he is on that lovely MV Augusta. And of course, I suppose it's one of the great things about this championship as well, and the proof in the pudding, is when you look at people like the likes of Barry Teasdale and Lee Williams, who went from the pre-national championship, having never ridden on uh, the short circuits before, to then move straight up into Sportsman Elite, and then move up into GP1 and winning outright races at GP1. Lee Williams is at the moment, uh, gone on to be, at the moment, the GP1 championship leader. And Barry Teasdale went on to win race and is now racing at British Championship. Well, this is why it's just important to have a strategy, a, you know, a development strategy for the riders. You know, whether it be right the way through from Super Teams to RRV 450s, 600 pre-national and 600 Sportsman Elite, etc, etc. And this is why we've got a Thunderfest at British Championship right now, because this is the place they're coming from. Another place made up there by Adam Gittings. He's just uh, moved himself up into the top ten. Uh, 
no, sorry, the top 12, just gone past Greg Scanlon there. Number 26, a bit further back, is Andy Cooley from South Kearney, one of our British Army riders. That's another thing worth pointing out as well, this is a pre-national class. Features a number of our uh, Army, Navy, uh, RAF riders. I mean, you, you see them right across the board at Thundersport, but over the last few years, this uh, sort of services rivalry has grown and grown. Oh, absolutely. And of course, this year, um, for the first time, we've got a number of rounds where on the Saturday we have a forces only race. Now, but because this is only a day and a half format here at uh, Alton Park, that doesn't feature here, but there is one on the Saturday at Rockingham in the next round. So it's great. We have, you know, good entry for that. I think we've got 27 riders, all from the military in that race. We just saw Ashley Milburn, number 65 there, making a slight mistake uh, going in through his ease. And it sounds like he just either missed a gear or hit neutral, something went wrong. He was shaking his head. He's just lost a bit of ground. Now then, Adam Gittings is making decent progress here as he just goes past number 33, Chris Jones. So uh, decent stuff here from the Suzuki rider, backed by Selco. Of course, Selco Builders also uh, sponsoring the freshman class in this series. A&R Racing, the, the backers of the pre-national championship altogether. Of course, A&R Racing uh, has been a part of the Thundersport uh, paddock now since day one, like so many others. There is Liam Halliwell, cousin of Chris going so strongly in the golden era super sport class. Liam's had a couple of tumbles in the last few rounds and has lost ground to the championship leaders overall. It's looking increasingly likely now that he'll probably fail to get up with them in terms of fighting for the championship overall. But there is a shot at third in the standings. There is a long way to go, of course, but we're at this halfway point stage now of 2016 and the various championships are taking shape. These two men certainly look very difficult to split again. Milburn there just really struggling around that second part of uh, his ease. There's 888, it's Joe Lawrence from Bolton on the capital lifting racing Kawasaki. We just saw Matt Dawes going through as well from Studley. I do love that name of that place. I think. Sure <laughs> Number 19, then Lloyd Shelley. It is that has the advantage from Milburn. In terms of lap times, Milburn is the faster rider. He's done a 45.1, and Lloyd Shelley so far in the mid to late 145. Uh, so that's only four seconds slower than the fastest uh, elite 600 uh, race that was run earlier. Good going, and it just shows you that. Uh, of course, Probably in the latter stages of the season, you'll see one or two of these uh, pre-national sport riders entering the sportsman elite and as well, yeah. start rising yeah, yeah. to the top. We saw it with the likes of Lee Williams, Barry Teasdale in the past, and David Brook. A number of riders have now done it. There you see Ashley Milburn, then he's finally found his way past Lloyd Shelley and retakes the lead. Now, can he keep it all together here? Not just through Britain, but up through is he's as wow well. that's brave Lloyd Shelley there with so much corner speed going through Britain interesting and intriguing riding style from uh, Lloyd Shelley he's a nutter yeah, so that's what he is fascinating <laughs> riding style Lloyd is a nutter <laughs> bless him <laughs> well sometimes uh, you've got to be haven't you to be out there racing <laughs> at these speeds <laughs> but yeah he's got this kind of dare I say Mick Doan-esque style where he's, he's head is kind of lifted up at the corners he's not properly hanging off the bike very much like old 500 cc riders he'll love them for saying that won't he um, of course Mick Doohan not available to race at pre-nationals sport 600 level just at this particular moment in time there's a 131 a face that has been in this paddock since the very first year at Thunder Sport in 08 Greg Scanlon from Reading so Lloyd Shelley back to the front in this pre-national race. Of course, 50 points on offer to the winner on this final lap, 40 to second. If Lloyd Shelley wins it, he'll take his lead of one point up to 11. And if Milburn wins it, it'll be down to nine points overall. So small margins, but of course, whoever wins it will have the lead of the championship. There further back is uh, 68, Chris Manger. 
just uh, up the inside of Matt Dawes. Those guys are in fourth and fifth, respectively. Not mentioned Matt Whelan in the last couple of laps, but he is in still that uh, safe third place. Further back there is Will Harper, number 11, just outside the points overall. So this is your battle for the outright win. Lloyd Shelley and Ashley Milford. Matt Whelan in third. Manger and Dawes we saw battling it out for fourth and fifth. Ben Watt and Helliwell. And Lawrence home. And Gittings fighting it out in the top ten with Ben Shuttlewood just behind him. Who will reign supreme then here? So you see Watton there, number 84. Just trying to get himself as high up as possible in this double points race. Race two will be double points as well. Lloyd Shelley at the moment looks like he will take his lead up to 11 unless Milburn can find a way past him. Now, at this stage of the lap, Milburn will be just doing everything he can to line him up for a move into the last corner. That's where he's got to try and get it done. How will this end up? Looks like a championship that's going to go down to the wire and here comes Milburn. Defensive line from Lloyd Shelley, cleverly done, but Milburn will have the drive as they cut back and they then race to the line. This could be quite close across the line, but Shelley's going to get it, I think. Checkered flag out, close race in the pre-national 600. It's close in the championship too. The battle between these two, certainly not over just yet. Lloyd Shelley then with 50 points and the win ahead of Ashley Milburn. Uh, who went out to try and congratulate Lloyd Shelley there, who was too uh, consumed in celebrations. There it is then, confirmation, Matt Whelan third, Manger fourth, Matt Dawes finishes fifth, Ben fourth sixth. There's the top three then, they're all happy now. Lloyd Shelley the winner from Melbourne with Matt Whelan in third. And further back in the freshman, Alex Laurie's the winner from Evans and Jones. Lloyd, great race. You must be well chuffed with that Alton Park. I enjoyed it, mate, yeah, definitely. Uh, Big surprise, really. The other boys seem to be quicker, practice than that, but pulled it out of the bag as a race day again. Bit of camera time in it. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, obviously, did you feel a bit tricky after the false start there when uh, we had one down at the, uh, at the warm up lap? We ended up doing three starts, two of them. I got a brilliant start. The one that counted, I wheeled. Terrible, but it was all right. It's all right, yeah. Have you, have you got anybody to thank? Yeah, uh, first of all, Jacob, Shelley, can't be here today. Uh, FLR Flooring, D Store, Wolverhampton, uh, accessbookings.com, a massive help, can't thank him enough. Trade Tyres, Midlands, and uh, there's another one, APH Electrical. All of you guys couldn't do it without you. Brilliant. Another win in the bag, Alex. Yeah. Pretty good, huh? Needed to make sure that I got some wins today because. Double points. Need to make sure that uh, I stay on the bike, really. Um, glad that I did stay on the bike. There was a couple of moments um, on the new bike, so still trying to get used to it. Lloyd Shelley it is then with the championship lead of just 11 points. How will race two end up? Let's see. It's very wet for race two at the Selco Builders Warehouse and Continental Pre-National Sport 600s. Uh, A&R Racing as well backs this one. Oh, Ashley Milburn doesn't look really all that concerned with the weather at the moment. He's just making sure that he's got enough fuel though. Uh, number 50, Matty Whelan. Look at the weather here. Lloyd Shelley it is that leads the championship. There he is on the right, number 19, with a race win earlier now. We've seen some wet races so far here today at Alton Park, but I don't think I've seen the start of a race quite as wet as this one. Here we go then, away from the line. You don't know what on earth are they all doing out there. Lloyd Shelley it is that has the lead going into turn one. As for the rest, got no idea. The spray everywhere here as these uh, riders that are probably some of the least experienced in the field at Thundersport GP go herring down 
towards Cascades. Matt Whelan in second place. Third there for Ashley Milburn. Alex Lawrie's with a great start there. The freshman rider, number 48, up into fourth spot already. Further back there's Ben Shuttlewood, number 83, just being passed by 79, Nick Barnes. But it's Shelley with a great lead already. Now, where's Milburn? He's pumped down to fifth place. Greg Scanlon has got himself a decent start as well. And every now and again, you'll see Greg just popping up there, nibbling away at those podium places. Uh, Greg Scanlon, 10th overall in the championship at the moment. Look how dark it is here at Alton Park. You almost need headlights out here. It's that dark. Really is looking quite grim. Thundersport Sid, uh, who uh, you might struggle to uh, understand on a good day, is here joining me on this bad day here at Alton Park. Uh, this is just about as treacherous as it gets at Alton Park. Remind me to slap you with a wet lettuce at the end of this race. Um, yeah, brilliant, brilliant racing this is. This is for men. We don't stop races because it rains. We start races when it rains. Well, this is not MotoGP. Oh, there's a few pussies. This is uh, <laughs> this is going. The few riders there just going straight through, uh, just struggling with their braking zones. Of course, it's well worth pointing out that if there were, this were a Formula One race, that they'd be starting under safety car uh, and not starting like we just did there. So uh, let's not keep talking about pussies. <laughs> You'll want to talk about football soon. Well, we'll look at this race for now. It is uh, Lloyd Shelley who has the advantage from Greg Scanlon, number 48. Alex Lorries has done well to climb into third place overall. Then it's 15, Liam. Matt Whelan. Yep, Liam Halliwell up behind Ashley Milburn. Liam Halliwell has already been on the podium this year, but over the last couple of rounds has just found it a bit of a struggle overall. He's fifth in the championship, but this is pretty awful here at Alton Park. We've seen Liam go well in the wet before, you know. You may recall. For some reason, he just gets loads of confidence in the wet. Well, some riders, I don't think they like being called wet weather specialists, but it can sort out a few riders. One or two riders lose a bit of confidence in these conditions, but the grip that you have, of course, with these wet tyres is unbelievable. And if you've got a decent front end and you've got some front end feeling, then... All you've got to do is just concentrate, not do anything too sharp. Just uh, remain sharp and stay away from those white lines. Don't brake too hard and don't get on that power too early. But this is probably the worst conditions I think I've ever seen at Alton Park. I'm not even kidding. I mean, I have seen some wet races in my time. I recall way back in 08, the pretty super teams being drenched and Andy Reid going on to win a race. But it was nothing like this. These are the worst conditions I think I've ever seen at Alton Park. There is 119, Alan Brooks. At the moment, Alan flying through as one of the freshman riders. Charlie White up there as well. But it's Alex Lorries who's up in the top three overall that is the freshman leader. Greg Scanlon there, just running a bit wide down into his east. Wow, some serious... Serious spray. This is supposed to be summer, Sid. We are talking about being in mid-July here. Uh, luckily, we're all British, so we kind of accept this. We? No, we do not accept it at all. It's mid-July. It's absolutely raining cats and to, dogs here. To, to be fair, to be fair, Formula One and MotoGP travel around the globe to follow the sun, and they find themselves in torrential rain conditions. The only difference is they tend not to race when it's raining. But Thundersport GB, we race. I think one of the great things is about weather like this, I look out like you and think, what are those guys doing out there? But when I bring them up on the podium, because it turns up some topsy-turvy results, because it's not necessarily about who's got the best bike and who's got the best kit and all the rest of it, it's, it's like sheer rider ability. And, uh, and when you see those great big smiles that normally they wouldn't come up and see you. It's worthwhile. Greg Scanlon here is doing very well, number 131, to hang on to Lloyd Shelley, who's looking to just extend his championship lead from 11 now up to whatever he can. Uh, his biggest challenger, of course, in the championship is Ashley Milburn. Now, Milburn, I don't think quite as comfortable in these conditions as his nearest rival. There's Ben Shuttlewood. He's making good progress. He's getting himself up towards the top eight now. 
There is Lloyd Shelley then and Greg Scanlon. The man on the move, you mentioned it earlier, is Liam Halliwell. Uh, he's going very, very nicely at the moment, lapping quicker than anyone else on circuit by the looks of things. I think it's because Ashley Milburn has left his crank racing woolly hat in the caravan. That's what the problem is. Ah, his lucky charm. Yeah, exactly. Well, Milburn will be ruining that mistake, uh, depending on how this race finishes. There's Liam Helliwell then. He's broken away from uh, Matt Whelan and number 47, uh, Zach Ultram. I've seen Zach racing in this championship uh, before. Oh, blimey, that was... Uh, nearly carnage down there into his east chicane. There is Alex Lorries once more, number 48, leading the freshman race as it stands. Then there's Ashley Milburn. So you've, you've raced around here, Steve. Now, what is it like in these wet conditions, like coming down that hill into the chicane? When do you let go of the brakes and uh, tip in? I, I cannot recall racing at Alton in, in these conditions. Not as bad as this. Um, and to be quite honest with you, the only thing I'd be able to do is tell you what it's like to park the bike up just right next to the garages because I wouldn't go out. <laughs> um, I've, I've raced in bad conditions, but nothing nothing like this unless I've been at Knock Hill. That's different. But uh, Liam Helliwell, they're closing up now. There is 47, Zach Ultram, up the inside of Matt Whelan. So Ultram now up into fourth place. Good job there from the Connect Racing Yamaha rider from Manchester. Lloyd Shelley then, having come into Alton Park with a one point lead. He'll take another 50 here if he wins this. Milburn at the moment probably going to struggle to get more than 12 or 13 points. And so. 38. Gosh, it's, it's going to be near a 50 point lead, something like that, for Lloyd Shelley by the end of this one. So it's a big, big difference on a double points afternoon. Now then, Liam Helliwell is closing up on Greg Scanlon. Greg Scanlon looks like he's just rolled off now. Look at Lloyd Shelley. He's front end wobbling around. He does not care one bit. He's quick in the dry, he's quick in the wet. Of course, this sort of slightly different riding style that he's got, where he doesn't hang off, will be quite helpful in these wet conditions because he's, uh, he's on the fat part of the tyre most of the time. Yeah. If Liam Halliwell, I suppose, if he can get himself in the I don't think he can win this, but but if you, um, you know, if he can get himself into a point, into a point situation of over 200, it kind of puts him into contention, doesn't it? Well, you never know. You just never know. There's Lloyd Shelley then, just getting past uh, James Buchanan. Uh, James is uh, out there. Of course, I don't think James is enjoying these uh, these conditions too much. On that, uh, I, I can't quite understand what that actually says next to his name. It's for, in terms of his sponsors, M Empyrene Construction. Empyrene. Yeah, I'm sure he'll correct us and Empyrean. let us know. Empyrean. But there he is, just about to be lapped by Liam Helliwell. I tell you what, Sid, he is getting quicker and quicker. This is a big gaggle of riders, including Ashley Milburn, who's a championship contender here. He will not like this one bit. He is right in the thick of it. Uh, look at that lot there. Ben Shuttlewood is now leader of that group. Alex Lorries is in there as well. Ashley Milburn, there he is. Number 14 is uh, Daniel Jones. He's looking for a way around the outside there of Chris Jones. Milburn then will want to try and get past this lot as quickly as possible. Lloyd Shelley, is just away with this one, 205s. Now then, let's keep an eye on Liam Helliwell in second place because on that last lap, Helliwell a good second quicker. We haven't got many laps left in this race, but Helliwell might fancy his chances now. Shelley's had a big look over his shoulder. He'll have seen Liam Helliwell. I'll tell you what, Matty Whelan has got that MV on, on song as well. Yeah, finished well in the first race on that MV, did uh, Matt, taking it to third place. Here we go, just breaking down into... How much do you trial? <laughs> not at all, if you can help it. <laughs> no, absolutely not. He was very soft and gentle on the brakes there as he made it through. He doesn't look like a soft and gentle man, does he? To be fair, our Lloyd. 
<laughs> well, uh, are you trying to suggest that you wouldn't pick a fight with him? Uh, oh, no, I wouldn't pick a fight with him. No, I wouldn't either. Um, but Lloyd has certainly got the bit between his teeth when it comes to this racing. I'll be interested to see how he gets on in a sportsman elite race, Lloyd Shelley, because he's getting quicker and quicker. And when you've got that ability to be able to race at the front in dry and in wet, uh, that is something else. But, and, because, and because of that, he's enjoying his racing. I think it's something that he probably thought he wouldn't do, but he loves it. He's having a fantastic time. Tell you what, Liam Helliwell would love this if he could find the podium. There will be a real confidence booster for him, having just slipped it's down a bit. Good, isn't it? Yeah, looking really solid. Looking really solid. There is number 14 again and number 33. 14, Daniel Jones, 33, Chris Jones. I don't believe that they're related. According to the programme, they hail from completely different places. And of course, Jones isn't exactly a rare surname. There's Adam Gittings. Gittings is up inside the top 10 again. And there's Alex Lorries. Alex Lorries is struggling now. He got up there at the start of this race and he's just fallen back a bit. Now then, uh, he's still leading the freshman charge ahead of Alan Brooks and Charlie White at the moment is Alex Lorries. As you see once again race leader Lloyd Shelley now. How much are we betting on him having a look over his shoulder again coming out of here? Wow that gap has come down. It has come down and not just Liam Helliwell closing but Greg Scanlon as well. So Lloyd Shelley has just rolled it off a bit here in the closing stages. Does Liam Helliwell fancy a sniff at a win here? Will he have enough time? And now they're both in the same camera shot. So, can you imagine? Liam Helliwell has just got to be sure not to do anything too silly here. Ever so easy to make a mistake when you know that you're closing in as well. They'll be able to smell him now. He'll be able to smell his exhaust. Uh, of course, it's just that danger of getting on the power a bit too early. Here again, you see Jones, number 119. Alan Brooks, who's now gone underneath. Alex Laurie, so Alan Brooks is now leading the freshmen with that move. Good stuff then from Alan. I'll tell you what, oh, Daniel Jones bike there, number 14. He's a brave boy. I mean, that thing is jumping around all over the place on the brakes. This gap is coming down at the front significantly. Look at this, there's Lloyd Shelley then going through the final corner. And Liam Helliwell is not far away at all. They go over the top of the hill there. Boy's on fire. That gap is down to uh, probably about a second. And we're on, we're about a couple of laps to go. So this is doable, totally doable here. I just wonder whether or not Lloyd Shelley is maybe just waiting for Liam and maybe he'll have something left up his sleeve for him. I think it'll be a surprise. If, if he appears, <laughs> if he chucks a wheel in front of Lloyd, I think it'll be a surprise. Because he's not going to read pit balls in this, is he? Well, stranger things have happened. He's wearing a dark visor for a start. <laughs> and it's just about the darkest <laughs> afternoon of motorcycle racing you could imagine. Uh, how on earth he'll be able to see properly with that. Hopefully he's not steamed up as well. Around Island Bend we go. So Lloyd Shelley here, at the moment, has been in control from start to finish. But now things are going to hot up. Liam Helliwell will have to try and find a way. There's one thing catching in these conditions. It's another altogether passing. And so Liam Helliwell will, at the moment, be ticking over in his brain, thinking, right, where should we get this move done? Ideally, as clean as possible in the wet. You don't want to be snagging on those brakes. Out of Britain's, he's not close enough to get in the slipstream here. And to be honest, he doesn't want to be in that spray. They break down into his ease. The gap down to under half a second. A bit of a wobble there from Lloyd Jelly. Oh. And he goes straight on. Oh, my God. And there you see, well, that was coming quite early on. You could see him have a front-end wobble. In fairness, that's clever thinking because he would have lost that. And now Liam Helliwell <laughs> goes <laughs> into the lead. <laughs> I can't believe it. So Helliwell has the lead now. He hasn't had to pull off the move because Lloyd not. Jelly have helped him. <laughs> <laughs> Who else wants them? <laughs> Number 119, that is going very, very well. Again, Alan Brooks, we mentioned him earlier. There's Ashley Milburn. Now, Ashley could just, he'll just want this race to be over championship wise. He's just up ahead of Alex Laurie's at the moment. And here we see the gap again. Lloyd Sherrod at Shelley has closed it down. And these guys are going to find it out now for the final time. The last lap flag is out for the race winners. 
and uh, well, it should have been, eh? Well, they might not know it, but the last half <laughs> flag has gone out, but maybe not to these guys. It's Liam Helliwell that has the advantage at the moment from Lloyd Shelley, and there's traffic up ahead. Dave did have a dark ball as well. Oh, Shelley up the inside into Cascades. Oh. And so Shelley has the lead again. He's certainly not afraid, considering Liam Helliwell's not a direct threat to him in the championship. This is brave from Lloyd Shelley. Liam Helliwell will give it everything on this final lap. Further back, there is Alan Brooks. Uh, Alan is currently leading the freshman and doesn't look like he's going to get challenged now from uh, Laurie's. And in fact, where has Laurie's just disappeared to? Oh, there he is. He's just a bit further back. Alex Laurie's about a second or two off. But Lloyd Shelley, look at this last lap from Lloyd. Liam Helliwell has not got an answer here for him. He did have something up his sleeve. You were right, Steve. Of course, he made that mistake, didn't he, on that last lap. Liam Helliwell here will be thinking, I just want this podium. There's Alex Laurie's up the inside of... Well, he's being done on the outside by Gittings. The yellow flags are waving here. And there's a rider down. Oh, dear, that's number 14. Daniel Told Jones. That front end, didn't I? Yeah, well, it's a bit all over the place, really. Now then, this is Lloyd Shelley, just up with some traffic. Liam Halliwell, not close enough to make a move. It will take a mistake now. There's Ben Shuttlewood. Ben's just gone past Zach Ultram into fourth place. So this is a good result potentially here for the rider from Leicester on the KJX Racing Triumph. Now then. We come towards the closing stages of this one. There is Ashley Milburn. He's got Adam Gittings just up on the inside of him. Adam Gittings is flying, Steve. I mean, he's doing such a good job in this race. Oh, a few wobbles! Oh! And down goes Alex Laurie. He's out of the race. And the freshman championship leader might have just kissed away his championship lead there altogether. And unfortunately for him, he's absolutely livid. He goes down. Checkered flag is out. Lloyd Shelley. What a couple of wins that is from him today. Liam Helliwell takes second. Brilliant for him. And so Lloyd Shelley will take a handsome championship lead into Rockingham. It's a solid third place and well done to Greg Scanlon. I can tell you that despite Shuttlewood's attempt, Zach Ultram has just got him on the line. So Zach Ultram retakes fourth place and finishes three tenths of a second ahead of Ben Shuttlewood with Matt Wheeler in sixth place overall. Top three then on the podium, Lloyd Shelley there with Liam Helliwell and Greg Scanlon in the freshman class. Alan Brooks on the top step ahead of Charlie White and Adrian Harris. Now let's look at the championship standings for the final time. It is Lloyd Shelley that has that big lead. 49 points ahead of Ashley Milburn with Liam Helliwell in third. Good stuff for him. Six points clear of Matt Dawes with Ben Watton in fifth. And in the freshman, Alex Lorries, oh, he does hold on to his championship lead, but he's just 20 ahead of Daniel Jones with Liam Dale in third place. Alan, great win in really, yeah, really tough conditions. It was dire out there. It was dire out there. We had a good battle, me and a few lads, like we were brushing elbows on the few straights, like, but last court, last lap, I overtook him on the straight and he, he ran wide and on shell corner which you know he was the only one that battled me near the end like but it was good I was a uh, wet like I like the wet like but that was a bit too wet <laughs> it certainly was wet have you got any sponsors to thank um, not at the moment because I just do it on my own so I like me to thank my dad me me my wife who came here my two boys uh, Rob Cookson he was racing earlier on like so just all future people who want to sponsor me like I like to thank them now <laughs> they'll be notified soon like so yeah but no it was good enjoyed it Enjoyed it. First time at Fun Sport as well, so. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Well done. Yeah. Well done, Alan. Cheers. That's it then. It's time to say goodbye from Alton Park. Join us again, hopefully, in the sun when we come out to play at Rockingham. are stacked in his favour.